Welcome to Entrepreneur's Pro Se Legal School. We provide tools, you do the work. I'm Coach Neighbors. In today's video, I'm going to provide you guys a quick update on the Challenge Property Tax Lawsuit Package. We're going to talk about the most asked questions on the Challenge Property Tax Lawsuit Package. And I think the question that most people ask is, if I paid cash for my property, I didn't have a mortgage. So how does this property tax thing work when I don't have a mortgage? And who should I sue and all of that? So that's, that's one of the things that, that, that we're going to cover tonight. I'm also going to talk about the upgrades that have been done to the package. And so now, if you're facing a tax lien foreclosure, the upgrade that we've done to this package, you'll get to use to finish them off uh, with that. Let's just get back to the challenge property tax lawsuit package. The question that's asked the most to me, I think, or, or one that I think that we should uh, discuss so people understand, because there's a few other questions, but I think this is probably the one asked the most. People want to know if I pay cash for my property and I have the deed, how you know, how is this applied to me? Because my situation is unique. Well, actually, um, your situation is not unique. The whole process of this property tax crap is fraud. So if you paid cash and they sent you the deed, I'm pretty sure that that deed they sent you was a copy of the original because they already got that shit in their office from the prior owner and their system. Their system is structured for the players to convince the owners to put the property that they that they yeah, yep that their property needs to be recorded in the office. Now people don't realize that that the recording of of your property deed in their office allows the first illegal lien to be put on your property. And most people don't know that the first illegal lien was the mortgage lien. And the reason it was illegal, uh, think about this. If there were several people who owned property, before they could take out a lien against that property or any kind of a lien, all the owners would have to be present to sign the lien, right? Uh, yep. So the fact that the alleged lender accepted the property owner's signature on the lien proves that the property owner already owned that property and there's some stink going on up in here somewhere. Uh, yeah. So when you get right down to it, when you get, okay, so this is the question that I'm going to ask and I want you guys to think about this while I go through the rest of the video. I just thought about putting it. Here's the question. If your mortgage lien was not in their office, could could the bank, the alleged lender, verify that there was a lien against your property? I don't know. I play football and I box. Those are two things not smart people do. So I try to keep this stuff simple. I'm not as smart as the attorneys. So if your lien was not in their office, would they be able to prove that you that you owed money for the property? I think about it. Uh, yeah, and we have uh, Nikki Ross. She is a legal coach. He has. She's been using my products, the property tax package. She's also uh, enrolled in an online course. And she used the property tax package to help to coach someone in New Jersey, uh, force them, them to deliver their deed as mandated by the state law. And she understood the customer, her client, whoever the hell it was, understood what the hell is going down? When they sent them before the judge, yep, the uh, the uh, property tax office, the clerk, I don't know, somebody sent her before the judge, and the judge had to order them to deliver her property deed. Now, the judge wasn't going to have it that easy. The judge asked her flat out, what, what's the problem? Why, why do you think, well, that person uh, told the judge there's no law. There is no law that says my property needs to be in this office or their office or in y'all's control. <laughs> And so the judge ordered them, and she didn't even have to file a lawsuit. It's amazing how it is when people go to the table with the right attitude. Now, if you're smart, that attitude is going to come with some knowledge <laughs> and some firepower. But when you go to your table with the right attitude. So this package is working pretty well. Um, the most asked question is uh, if I paid cash for my property, and blah, blah, blah. Okay, look, you know what? It don't matter what you pay for your property because the damn deed that you have is a copy of the original. I can guarantee you that your ass does not have a copy of the original unless that property is really old and been in your family for... 70 or 80 years <laughs> or more and even then i think they'd probably have a way to get your yeah 
Uh huh. So um, go check those people who think that yeah they sent me the deed. No, I think what they sent you was a copy with of the of the original, which actually is a violation of federal counterfeiting laws because once they alter the deed stamp paid to the order of and uh, and the promissory note and process it through the Federal Reserve, um, they turned it into a security and and then they're not allowed to make copies of it. Well, you can't make a copy of somebody else's deed anyway and send it to them and make them think that they have control interest <laughs> uh, okay they do that all the time but i'm pretty sure if i pull that crap that it, it, I, I, it wouldn't go that well would not go that well if i pulled that crap so that's the, and so the answer is if they lied to you and they cheated and they sent you a fake copy to make you think you got the original so what are you going to do to get out of this you're going to believe that that is the original when they're forcing you to pay to pay property tax or uh, most people don't realize that the state has a lien against your property and that they use they use that lien to pay for debts and in addition to the t yeah um they use your title to uh, as collateral for debts from the federal government yeah i re i read a lot on this stuff so <laughs> And like I said in the last video, anybody that wants to challenge anything that I'm saying, hit me up on the line and um, I'll send you a link and you can just get right in here and explain to people uh, why what I'm saying is not correct and what you got that you can help people with. So if you don't have those two things, don't be getting up in my face. Property tax illegal. It is actually stated in two places in the Constitution that your private property is not to be taxed. So. What they do, they take your property, they reclassify it, one of your commercial classifications, which would be residential, agricultural, or uh, commercial. And then once they reclassify it, they start charging you property tax. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. They did something first. They used the recording of your in their office to, uh, to put a lien on your property, an illegal lien on your property. Your property the, was the electronic fund thing that they said was the mortgage loan was created with your signature and after they got your property registered in their office and tricked you one time into paying for what was already created with your signature uh, they started charging you more property taxes because we're stupid and we don't <laughs> And we ain't figured it out. So the property tax package has been upgraded because I had a couple of people that were already in foreclosure, uh, property tax foreclosure, tax lien foreclosure, whatever. Um, so I included the 42 USC 1983 foreclosure offensive package. And I tweaked it just a little bit you know, to fit into what we need here. Uh, with the information and uh, so that package has also been in upgraded and included into the uh, uh, challenge property tax pack so you'll get what you need to sue them for the illegal taxes uh, that you've been paying for a real long time and then you'll also have what you need to sue their asses if you're already in foreclosure i just like to make sure that you have the punching power that you need mm, to get the job done so now you guys know if you're facing a tax lien foreclosure, you need to get your butts over to my website at winningcourtnow.com and, and get that property tax challenge, DYI lawsuit package or whatever the hell it is it's called. And, and I had another question. The guy uh, called me today and asked me a question. He's in a property tax thing and thought he might need more than one package and wanted me to give him a break. I'm like, dude, I ain't trying to hear that. My stuff is not only is it already half price, but it's fire. And you ain't gonna find what I got here no place else without without emptying your 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 retirement account. <laughs> and that that's pretty much the fact, Jack. So if you're interested in my stuff, what I have. Oh, the other thing I want to talk to you guys about is. Uh, don't don't contact me asking me for things that are in old videos in old videos if, if that video is more than a year old then chances are we do we're doing something different so i don't what i have posted on my website at winningcourtnow.com reflects the options that you have so that's what you guys need to remember and those options change based off of real-time feedback that I get from people in my coaching, in my private coaching group. And, and 
people that aren't in the group uh, that also invest in, in my products. So keep that in mind. When you're going to my YouTube channel, the most important thing that you need to watch, anything that's been updated. But those updates came from, okay, I think I said, <laughs> you guys get that what I'm saying, right? The updated videos reflect the changes that we've made. And, you know, if you don't see it on my website, then it's not something that we're using anymore. So that's going to be an easy key for people to not be contacting me, asking me for stuff that, from a video that was four years <laughs> Uh, that was four years old. Uh, okay, so that's not a very wise use of uh, either of them. Now, I'm going to post a link to the uh, challenge property tax package, the property tax do-it-yourself DIY lawsuit package uh, in, the, uh, also in the comment section and also in the description of the video. So if you guys are facing this problem, get over there and get that shit and get rolling because it's time to punch somebody in the face. <clears throat> Thank you for the value of sharing your time. You guys, make sure you don't forget to 